Yeah, hi, I am Dr. Amit Maidev and I am the chairman of the Institute of Gastro Sciences at the Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital in Mumbai. And I am going to talk to you today on various cancers which can affect the digestive system. All of us know that the digestive system is very long. It starts from the mouth, then we have got the food pipe. After the food pipe, we have got the stomach. And after the stomach, we have got the beginning of the small intestine, which is called as the duodenum. And then we have got 21 feet long small intestine. And after that, we have got the large intestine, which is one and a half meter long. In between, we have got some organs inside the digestive system, like the liver, the gallbladder, the bile duct, the pancreas. All of us know that cancers can affect uh, any part of the human body. Similarly, there can be cancers which can occur in any part of the digestive system. For example, you may have cancers of the oral cavity, you may have cancers of the food pipe, which is called as esophageal cancer, or we may have cancers of the stomach, or we have cancers usually of the large intestine. Small intestine, fortunately, is not associated with too many cancers. But cancers can occur in the liver, it can occur of the gallbladder, can, cancers can occur of the bile duct and also of the pancreas. Now, what are the common causes of cancers happening inside the digestive system? One of the common causes of food pipe cancer, for example, is a chewing of tobacco or eating certain types of foodstuffs which are commonly seen in countries like Japan and China. But in India, the commonest cause of esophageal cancer or food pipe cancer is either tobacco chewing or the second cause which is evolving or which is now increasing in trend is because of those people who are having recurrent acid from the stomach coming up in the food pipe and they keep on having reflux or heartburn. So if patients are chewing tobacco for a long time along with lime or if they have recurrent episodes of heartburn because of acidity it can lead to esophageal cancer or food pipe cancer. Stomach cancer can happen if there is some genetic problem or it can also happen if there is a long-standing history of infection inside the stomach like H. pylori which leads to a condition which is called as atrophic gastritis and within the atrophic gastritis there is intestinal metaplasia and that can cause or lead to stomach cancer. Third, we come to the cancer of the, of the large intestine, which is not very commonly seen in our country, commonly seen in Western population, mainly seen in those people who have predominant non-vegetarian food. It is not very commonly seen in those who have got a vegetarian diet or those whose food is high in the intake of vegetables as well as fruits. But colonic cancers can happen in case you have got a very high intake of non-vegetarian food, it usually happens in those people who develop some polyps inside the large intestine which turn into cancer. But let me tell you one thing that out of all cancers of the digestive tract, colonic cancer is the least aggressive and it can be treated also by relatively simple methods. But one of the most aggressive cancers of the digestive tract is the cancer of the gallbladder or cancer of the pancreas. Cancer of the pancreas, uh, we do not know exactly the reason why it happens, but that is also associated with those people who have got a high incidence of alcohol and smoking combination. It can happen even without any cause, but if a pancreatic cancer happens, it's very important that this cancer needs to be diagnosed in the early stage, because if this cancer is diagnosed once it is already advanced, usually the patient's lifespan is reduced considerably. Same is true with gallbladder cancers, which are commonly seen in east of the country. And if gallbladder cancer happens, then that is also very difficult to diagnose because most of the patients come to the doctor in a very late stage until they develop a symptom. If you have a cancer of the bile duct or of the liver, the patient develops jaundice. Now this jaundice is not because of any normal infection which happens in the liver, but this jaundice is because of obstruction to the tree of the bile duct or passage of the bile duct. If the bile duct passage gets obstructed, then the bile cannot flow down, it goes back into the bloodstream. It is very, very important that any cancer which affects the body and especially of the digestive tract is picked up in the early stage. 
and for that we have got advanced techniques and technology by which we can pick up the cancers in the very early stage in the curative stage so that until the cancer becomes big and becomes incurable this patients can be diagnosed and treated very effectively it's important to understand that if you have symptoms like unexplained stomach pain unexplained weight loss unexplained loss of appetite or unexplained difficulty in swallowing or bleeding from the rectum which is happening and if you find patients who have got un uncontinued acidity and recurrent symptoms of acidity none of these symptoms what i told you just now should be neglected and any of these symptoms which are happening you should go to your doctor get yourself checked up because this could be an indication of cancer of the digestive system so thank you for listening